Praise you, Lord, I praise you. Oh, I praise you. Yes, I praise you. How I praise you, my precious Lord. I love you, Lord, I love you. Oh, I love you. Yes, I love you, Lord, I love you, my lovely Lord. You are worthy, Lord, you're worthy. So you're worthy, so worthy. Oh, you're worthy, most holy Lord. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Glad to be here. And uh, thank God we're in the presence of God to uh, give glory to God and to hear what He has to say to our hearts this morning. Because when we're ready for the Lord, when we're receptive and we're all prayed up, like they say, the Lord never shortchanges us. Amen? Amen? God is there to answer our cry, our heart's cry, as long as we come humbly and we expect. It's very important to expect God to speak. I'm expecting God to speak. We never can predict what the Lord's going to do because He's so wonderful. He's so great. So let's just have a word of prayer and we're going to worship. Father God, we thank You, Lord, for this day, the day that You have made, Father. We thank You, Lord, that You've taught us, Lord, to come to the cross every day, Lord, at the foot of the cross, looking at the Savior. It's because of His death on the cross that we have life. Lord, we thank you for your precious blood. We thank you, Jesus, that this day we have breath in our lungs, that we may praise the name of God Most High. Yes. Lord in heaven, I pray that your healing power, your virtue, your mighty love would come and overtake us. Lord, because we believe in the supernatural working of the Holy Spirit. And we come as clay in your hands, Lord, that you may fashion us according to your will and your purpose. We pray that all of us will be immensely blessed because you are a wonderful God. In Jesus' name we thank you, praise you. Amen. 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 We're going to sing um, God is Mighty. God is Moving One More Time. If you don't know, it's a very simple chorus, but um, it's an old chorus. God is moving one more time. God is moving one more time. God is moving one more time on the earth to fulfill his precious Word. Every promise I have heard, God is moving one more time on the earth. And when we sing again, we're going to sing, Move in me, O precious Lord. That's what we're going to sing a few times. We're going to repeat it. Move in me, O precious Lord. Move in me, O precious Lord. Move in me, O precious Lord. One more time. God is moving one more time. God is moving one more time. God is moving one more time on the earth.
And when the Lord said, let there be light, oh, darkness had to flee, hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, light had to appear, hallelujah. Whatever was not there, God brought into existence. He made something out of nothing, hallelujah. The Lord can do the same thing for us today, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. Shall we say, Lord, move with me, move with me, oh, precious Lord, move with me, oh, Lord. As you move on the face of the earth, Lord, move with me, move with me, Lord. One more time, move with me, shall we just say, from the bottom of our hearts, let's sing it as a prayer to the Lord, oh, move with me, oh, precious Lord, move with me, oh, precious Lord, move with me.
to the Lord and follow Him. Hallelujah. And to the very end, faithful unto the end. Praise His name. Praise His name. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be followed. Blessed be His name. Glory is God. Thank you.
He'll never leave you nor forsake me. He'll never leave you nor forsake us. Glory be to God. Worthy is the Lord. Worthy is the Lord. Worthy is the Lord. Praise you. Praise you. Praise you. Praise you. Praise you. Praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
come with the rest of the service in two hands. We ask you have your own way, the Holy Spirit. Shake everything that needs to be shaken in us this morning. We ask you build, Lord, that which needs to be built in us. Praise you, Father. Something Praise lasting, O oh Father. Lasting, O oh Lord. Lasting, O oh Lord. Lasting, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. For the Lord we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, I have the joy of introducing Sister Kuruba. And what I, the way I would like to do it is just share a little bit from uh, her bio, from her website. Uh, I know she's been a tremendous blessing at the Walter Loving Home. And also, uh, we'd love to have her here too because uh, she flows with the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen. And uh, it says here, um, Sister Karuva Stephen is the wife of Brother Pradeep. Amen, Brother Pradeep. And the mother of five precious children. She was born and raised in a godly home. In her early years, she was very close to her spiritually gifted grandmother. Her grandmother went to be with the Lord on January 26, 1985. After this, Sister Karuba underwent a year of torment in which she could not sleep properly because of the fear of death. She was led to salvation by her mother on January 26, 1986, exactly a year later, at the age of 10, as she finally received Jesus as her Lord and Savior. Finally, you waited all the way till 10. <laughs> The Lord removed the fear of death that had been tormenting her, replaced it instead with great joy and peace. The following May, she attended vacation Bible school, and the Lord blessed her with the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Since then, she's been began to use the Lord began to use her over the years in grade school and in college to bring many students from various religious backgrounds to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. Sister Karuba received a BA in liberal studies from Sunny Purchase, New York, and a master's in childhood education and special education from Long Island University. She's currently pursuing the doctorate in organizational leadership at Regent University. Her greatest joy comes from worshiping the Lord in spirit and in truth. She happily shares the ministry calling with her husband in reaching out to hurting souls. However, she's a firm believer that a woman's first ministry is in the home. Amen. A godly mother should cheerfully take on the privilege and duty in meeting the spiritual, physical, and emotional needs of her husband and children. Thus, as a family, they can serve the Lord. Amen. 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 Boy, that's a great introduction. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so let's give her a hand as she comes and ministers to us. Lord. Praise the Lord, it's a joy uh, for me to be here again in the presence of the Lord. And um, when I came in the morning, went to the restroom and I saw um, I know who it is. a lady who was there, she said, you were there last time, right? I said, yes. And then she said, um, you spoke about inviting Jesus into your problem. I said, yes. So I was happy that what the Lord conveyed was retained you know, in her heart. So praise God. And we're looking to see what the Lord would want to um, share with us this morning. So shall we just close our eyes and look to the Lord one more time. Father, we thank you, Lord. Jesus, without you, we can do nothing. Lord, it's vain, Father, if we gather together and you're not there. But we believe, Jesus, that you are here this morning because we are gathered together in your name, and your presence is here, Lord. We ask you, precious Father, to break this bread and feed us. Lord, you know where we lack, you know what we need. We ask you, our Father, that you will flow through us, Holy Spirit, flow into us, Holy Spirit. Lord, may you spring, Father, never-ending spring. Oh, Father, flow into each one of these precious souls that are here. We come with our spirit, soul, bodies, and mind under the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And come against all the powers of darkness, every demonic spirit that's trying to take the word of God from the hearts of the people. Bind those demons in Jesus' name. And come against every evil spirit that is trying to scatter the thoughts of your people. Bind them in Jesus' name. Take victory in Jesus' name. And I ask you, Lord, that you give them a single heart, a single mind. And I pray that you anoint their ears to hear your word. 
Lord, give them open mind to receive the truth. Their hearts be as good ground, O oh Lord, to bring forth much fruit. For this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.